Welcome, everybody, to When Reality Hits with Jax and Brittany. We are so excited to, because we have a couple on today that we've actually talked about you guys a couple times Many on times. the podcast already, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> actually, <laughs> but it is 90 Day Fiancé's Lauren and Alex. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Welcome. Hello, hello. <laughs> we are so excited to have you all. We are huge fans of 90 Day Fiance. It's one of the only reality shows that we actually really love. Yeah. Meaning, because, you know, when you do it, it's hard kind of to watch reality shows because you know how it, how they work and everything. Yeah, the last thing I really want to do is watch reality TV when you're on reality TV. You know, <laughs> and, and I don't watch myself on TV ever. So we just enjoy watching you guys. I feel like you're the, out of all the 90, best friends. <laughs> out of all the 90 day couples, I think we relate to you the most. Um, we've met a few people and they're all very nice, but I think we uh, we relate to you guys most. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I think that you guys just from the get go, like, sh you could tell that you guys were really in love. And I think that's the difference with a lot of the couples on 90 Day Fiance. I'm, I'm, I'm skeptical of that show. I'm skeptical. <laughs> I, you know, I think it, now it's a lot different than it used to be. I think now people are doing it just to be on TV, personally. I think because yeah. I think it's, it's when it started, I think it was real. But now I think it's gotten to the point where it's like, oh, here's a way to get on TV. It's kind of like the it's kind of like the Bachelor. Oh, here's a way to build my social media. It's not like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> exactly. It's like the next no, it's, the next biggest influencer. <laughs> it's funny that you mentioned that you don't watch yourself on TV because we we are that actually was, the same thing. No, but that was my first rule going into mm -hmm. this, and I told Lauren like we will never watch ourselves, and we don't want it to affect us, and we don't want to overthink shit after that. Oh, it's not, the not overthinking else. is the worst for a reality TV people you know i feel like that's the worst that's part for me we all relate to each other maybe that's why we all relate to each other because we don't watch ourselves but we watch each other like yeah. i've watched you guys. yeah yeah <laughs> I, I i've tried like obviously with the podcast we dive, dive into some old episodes and i'm like i gotta watch i'm like i literally have to have a case of beer or a couple shots of vodka or whatever <laughs> just to get a scene i'm like i can't watch this i just can't like i cringe at myself especially the mm -hmm. earlier days yeah i cringe and i'm just like oh i can't do it and i make it very known that i don't watch it even when i do talk shows and stuff like that they're like you gotta make sure you watch the episode i'm like okay i will and then they'll get on they're like did you watch it i'm like no <laughs> no you guys can just fill me in i lived it i don't feel like i need to watch it i already lived it so i know it's what i did so anyway you know what you did i know what i did also, <laughs> i was uh oh sorry watch ourselves from like the first episodes no 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 about it. I, you, I was like the the villain i was like the part, the character. Wait, the villain? I didn't know you were the villain. Jack was the villain. <laughs> I was the villain. Everybody is a character, and everybody needs to hate on somebody. But now look at us, right? We've right. got beautiful families. We have amazing spouses. And, like, kudos to us. Right. We're thriving. And uh, yeah, also, you look amazing, Lauren. You look absolutely Thank incredible. You. Congrats Sorry, on the new baby girl. She is so Thank cute. You. I'm so happy for you guys. I was actually uh, watching some of your spinoff show today to like kind of refresh my memory on everything. And I was texting Lauren. I was cracking up because, um, Alex, you were like, I saw a lot of things in the hospital. And it just like <laughs> cracked me up when you were talking about your birth. <laughs> and I thought it was During so cute season. and so real. During the C-section, so we've progressed over each C-section, and the very first one, Alex, he was filming it on his phone, and I was like, just talk to me. Tell me I'm going to be okay. And he literally looked at me and goes, shh. I'm watching. I'm like, oh, I'm You're very brave. <laughs> that is hilarious. I had, sure, I had to make sure all the doctors, you know, doing everything right, and taking care of her. And everything looks good to oh, me. Oh, I know. I, I was the same way. I had we had our baby during COVID, and we it was my mother in law and I were the only ones allowed in the room. And I brought an iPad. I had an iPad set up, an iPhone. Right. I mean, I got in there. I got into her goods. I was watching. <laughs> I'm watching the doctors. Like, oh, it's, here we go. And I'm lifting up her leg, and I'm I was into it. I was. He was off count with the nurse, like driving me insane. She's cause... screaming at me. She's like, "You're not counting at the same time as the nurse is counting." And I'm like, "Oh God." <laughs> <laughs> it was insane. So I want to take our listeners back really fast in case they don't watch 90 Day Fiance if they live under a rock and don't watch it because we love that show. I don't know what you're thinking if you don't watch it. Um, I want to take everybody back and get the story of how you guys met. Oh. This is my favorite story. So I'll, <laughs> I'll take this one. So we actually met on a birthright trip. It's a trip to Israel for Jewish people. And I went on birthright and I was not supposed to be on that trip. I got moved on to it five days before. 
and I have a horrible, horrible fear of flying. And I get off the plane and I'm like, woo, living my best life. And Alex is standing there with like his uniform and a hat. And I was like, who are you? And like, I looked at him and I was like, are you a medic? And because every birthright trip has a medic or a security guard. Yeah. Definitely not much of a medic on that trip towards me. But <laughs> I was like, this is going to be such an amazing trip. And like, I was like, you're so hot. And so I get on the bus and my co-staff, Skyler, who I kind of give him props for introducing us because he pushed for me to be on that trip. He sat down and he was like, he's got a girlfriend, like, don't even try. And I looked at Alex and I was like, you have a girlfriend? He was like, nope. And that was it. And it was not supposed to be what it is now. It was supposed to be a hookup. But here we are 10 wow. years later. Wow. Kind of same. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very, I want people to visualize. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing because you're like, uh, whenever I was watching the show earlier today, you were talking about it was just a hookup. And now we are <laughs> married with three kids. Yeah. We're together 10 years this year. Yeah, I, that's I, awesome. Medics with girlfriends are accepted to go do birthright trips, basically. Yeah, I got I got a couple of buddies that done birthrights, he, they, and they have it the best time. I've had a couple of buddies that have done the birthright thing, and that's it seems like a really fun trip. I mean, like, they go party. It was a party. fun trip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we love you guys, and your family is absolutely beautiful. Thank I you. want to know, how do you get started on a show like 90 Day Fiance? Like, how did that come about for you guys specifically? I wrote to them. So this is obviously years ago and it w had to have been like the second season I was airing. And I was like, Alex, there was this really famous show in America. It wasn't even popular. It then. wasn't famous at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm going to write to them. And I, I wrote a novel and I sent pictures of us like in bikinis and looking good. And one bikini, one swim in my bathing suit. <laughs> yeah. And so I... I was like, remember this show? I was like, they want to like interview us. And now he's seven hours ahead because he's in Israel. And so like two weeks later, I was like, remember that, that interview? I was like, so we're going to fly to Canada and meet and we're going to be on a TV show. And I don't know how we didn't run for the hills then, but that's literally what happened. It's crazy how things work out. Like, are you so glad that you did the show? Do you have any regrets about doing any of it? No, no, no regrets. I'm very used to it now. I kind of think now that she was, she knew what she was doing from the get go. You know, she she went over there to hunt for her yep. uh, her her ticket to the to, to reality TV. I, I was I was gonna I was gonna chime in here because I did watch an episode I think a long time ago, and your dad made a funny comment. This is nothing against you, Alex, but your dad goes, "What do you say? There's uh, 60 million men in America, and you, like you can't find one here. You got to go." <laughs> and I thought that was just hilarious. Nothing against you. You're a great guy, and everything. But I just thought that was so funny because that's something my dad would say. He'd be like, "There's all these women here. You, you gotta you gotta go overseas to find one. Like, what's the big deal?" So yeah, I thought that no, was really funny. No, it was tough at first. Yeah. It really was. They were like grilling him hard. I think yep. still a little bit. <laughs> how how do you guys do? You guys get along with the in laws and everything like that? Do you guys have a good relationship <laughs> with with the par your other's parents? It's different now that we're parents and my parents are grandparents. So you know, I think there's that fine line of understanding who's the parent. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, but I actually can't really communicate with Alex's parents, so it's a blessing and a curse. Yeah. Mostly a blessing. Mostly a blessing. Yeah. <laughs> and really talk to her parents, so it's so good. Oh, if our parents could communicate, it would be a nightmare. Oh, really? <laughs> so the language barrier, obviously, I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Her Alex's parents, they speak mostly Russian and Ukrainian, and they think I speak Hebrew, and I don't speak Hebrew. They speak Hebrew, too. Oh, yeah. and, and when they try to talk to her, for some reason, they switch to Hebrew, which is their second language. Just because they feel like she will understand it, but she doesn't understand it either. So it's just all... This episode of When Reality Hits is brought to you by AG1. They're on a mission to empower people to take ownership of their health with a simple daily habit. AG1 is the all-in-one formula that makes it easy for us to cover our nutritional bases every day. Every scoop is packed with 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source ingredients of the highest quality. I absolutely love this stuff. Uh, you know, when you're on the go, it's so easy to make a quick shake. I mean, I love them. I really do. I use them all the time. And it gives us major benefits like gut and mood support, boosted energy, and even healthier looking skin, hair, and nails. Again, I love the mood support 
for Jax. <laughs> I'm all for that. And the boosted energy, because we all need that. If you definitely need a break from coffee, this is the way to go. Mm-hmm. AG1 was designed with ease in mind so you can live healthier and better without having to do a lot. Why well, I take a bunch of different things when you can just mix one scoop of powder in water once a day. I do this once a day right after I get home from the gym. It kind of gives me a kickstart after my hard workout. Yes. If you want to take ownership of your health, try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Wait, free one-year supply? Heck Vitamins yeah. are expensive. Yeah. They're giving you a free year? Wow. You're welcome, guys. Make sure you check it out. Go to drinkag1.com slash reality hits. That's drinkag1.com slash reality hits. Check them out. I got to bring up something because we all know that Scandaval took the world by storm recently. It was the biggest thing that everybody was talking about. Scandaval, the people we met at the end of the world. <laughs> that was actually what I was going to bring. I love that he didn't even know what we were talking about. That is hilarious. This is what we're getting into. <laughs> but I got to bring up because you guys won the MTV award for best couple beating yeah. Tom and Ariana. Could you imagine... If they would have won. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know if I can't. I will tell you, we met them. So I was so pregnant with Ari and I was like, I was totally like fangirling over people. Right. And so I went up to them and like other people too. And I introduced myself and I was like, I love you guys. You're so amazing. Ariana, you're amazing. And he like looked at me like with disgust. And I was like, Bro, you're wearing last season Prada shoes. Don't even. <laughs> like, I was so. Oh, I remember with the big white shoes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the white outfit with the black Prada oh, platform. But he looked at me like with disgust. And I was like, if only. Right. Oh, have all this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he, Ariana he th- was He thinks nice. very highly of himself. Let me tell you. Yeah. He thinks very highly of Gross. himself. Yeah, he's he's, uh, he's an interesting individual, that's for sure. And you were right about him the whole time. <laughs> I've always always been right. I'm very, very rarely wrong. Oh, that's his I, favorite line right now, and it's driving me crazy. I'm getting. I think I'm going to make that a merch shirt. Gosh, I'm, I'm never wrong. And then everything he wants to turn into a merch shirt too. I'm like, golly. Um, <laughs> Literally, Alex is always right. Right, is right. <laughs> it's a curse sometimes. It is a curse. <laughs> it is sometimes you just got to shake your head and be like, I told you, and then people come like, I told you. So, so not only did you guys do 90 day fiance you also had your after the 90 days with lauren and alexi and then you also did pillow talk and mm-hmm. Jax and i loved pillow talk and we would always say we wish we I, could do this i'm and like this is such a cool job you basically get to you know sit in bed and work right yeah it was, it was awesome I'm like God, how, stream. yeah yeah it was, it was awesome i'm like man they should they should figure out a way to do this well. We finally got to do our Peacock show, which was, like, so much like Pillow Talk. I so I know, know like, how fun, like, did you guys have so much fun doing it? Because it's basically like you just go downstairs and well, you get to talk crap on other people. And it, it's the best because, yeah, what you just said, you get to go downstairs and work and you get to talk about other people. And guess what? Nobody's talking about you and back. So you just get to grill about them and you're not going to get anything in return, which is nice. It's really every girl's dream. It's so true. Like, first off, we really do film in our bed, by the way. A lot of people ask that. That's our bed. And you get to eat and drink and bash people. And it's accepted because people are on the other screen. They're like, oh, my God, I feel the same way. Like, it's literally every girl's dream. Yeah. And and we still do it. Like, we love it. Yeah. My only problem with it is that I have to hide my feet all the time. So I have to... (laughs) Angle, otherwise my food is blocking the whole screen. He's very <laughs> big the and it's not comfortable. I'm sit- sitting sideways. <laughs> that's a that's a hilarious thought because we did ours on a couch, so we didn't really yeah. have to think about that. But yeah. I get I that. We had our kid running Alex around a little like bit and our dogs. What's that? <laughs> He's big in the feet world. They love yeah. his feet. It's so gross. Only Jack, fans. Oh yeah, start your only fan feet page. <laughs> I, I was telling Brittany the same thing. I, I know people that are making like tons of money on that. Like Brittany, start a page. I, I don't We're care. It doesn't bother me. It. I don't care. Wikifeet, Wikifeet give me... Uh, a 7 out of 5. Yeah, I had <laughs> higher score than the highest score. Like, that's good. Like that. Yeah, make some extra money doing it. Why not? Jax has an Instagram that's dedicated just to his hands. <laughs> yeah, I, it's it's weird. It's it's really weird, but you know what? Hey, if you want to pay me for it, for sure. Yeah, I'll, take a, yeah. I'll use that money to go on vacation because of our yeah. feet and hands. Why not? Oh. Yeah, people I mean, like what they like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We live that. in a crazy world. If you want to throw money around for people's feet, by all means, 
<laughs> go for I don't it. Care. Alex, I'm going to pimp your feet out. I know. That's what I told Brittany. I go, it's, <laughs> I don't care. I know that we're married. Throw those feet on there. I don't care. Sure. If people are, men are going to pay you to look <laughs> at your feet. I'm all here for it. And if you start, I, agree, you I created that. like three NFTs of our feet. <laughs> they put it on open sea. They tried to sell them, but no, nobody bought them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. There was that girl on, uh, I think it was a 90 Day Fiance that was like selling her farts in a jar. <laughs> And yeah. then ended up in the hospital what? from it. Yeah, like like so a stomach uh, something. She, what? She was she actually doing it? That. It wasn't like a real... Yeah. Yeah. Holding her farts, saving them <laughs> for like a, to sell it. And then she messed up. Like her. Uh, she messed up her like she was hospitalized. Like it's just people will buy anything. She was I'm hospitalized for holding her farts in. Jax, <laughs> you always tell me that you have to let them out because you, you don't do. want a sour stomach. Because you'll get a sore stomach. <laughs> I yeah, I'm like, listen, I, I'm not gonna hold it in. It's I got a sore stomach. I'm not gonna get a sore stomach for a girl. I'm gonna let it go. I'm not like, gonna get a sore stomach, that's for sure. I'm not gonna get a sore stomach. I must have missed that episode where she was hospitalized. That was news to me. I mean now that now I guess we're talking about what was her name, by the way? Yeah, what was her name? Do you guys remember? Stephanie. 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 Okay, okay, so out of all the couples on 90 Day Fiance, who is your favorite couple to I mean, who do you guys relate to the most? Mm-hmm. Or it doesn't even have or, to be no, who like, you relate to, or, just who do you like Who the do most? you like the most, yeah. Uh, well, it's, hard. it's hard because, like we said, we don't really watch us. Mm-hmm. And right. we don't. It's also past our bedtime. I would say I relate to the most is Libby and Andre. Libby and Andre. I'm very yeah. friendly with them. Yeah. Also, Libby and I are very much alike, and Alex and Andre are kind of from the same part of the world. Right. And both, yes. and bo- both you know, macho men. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like them, too. I do like Jax, them, too. And I do. I do. I like them, too. I I also... Uh, Their family's cray-cray the, uh, in the best way. Brittany likes um, Brittany likes um, the guy that the, works on the oil rig. Uh, no, no. Blonde oh, girl. Jovi. Jovi. Oh, Jovi. yeah, 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 yeah. Jovi yeah. and... Uh, yeah, Brittany likes them. I think she just likes her outfit. She, well, I like her, the way she dresses. She likes dresses. her handbags and her outfits. But I, think, I like the I way... Yeah, I think she's just funny. I think she's so funny. Like the way that she like handles him and stuff, she just cracks me up. But we just love the show. Yeah, so. we do. I know we're, we're fangir. And, and well, we also got to hang out with Angela one night. We met her at a hotel one night, and uh, she's an interesting character. Let me tell you, Angela is. She just needs her own thing. She is even. I don't. I just want to see her just in the day. I just want to watch her. I feel like so with Angela, I feel like she's got such a big heart. She's definitely somebody you want on your side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm so terrified of her at the same time. Do you know what I mean? She is like a <laughs> runaway train. Like she is like a, like a hot mess, but she's just so much fun to be around. Yeah, she's, she's so and she does fun. have a big heart and she's so sweet. She was nice to my son and she was talking about how she loves kids and she takes care of her kids, but she is a yeah. she's a hot mess <laughs> she's express. <natural. laughs> she stays in her lane. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? She is reality TV gold. She is. She is reality TV gold. What, I'm sure. What did you say, Alex? I couldn't hear you. Zelda is just she's special. That's <laughs> I, mean, I'm, I gotta, I gotta think that TLC just loves her. Oh gosh, they just gotta love her because you never know what you're getting out of her. What about your mm-hmm. least favorite couple? Can yeah. you share that? Do you have anybody that you don't get along with? I know there's one, Lauren. I know it. I know it. I know who you are. You're, you're, you're exactly like my wife. You're very similar, I loathe, so I know it. loathe him. Big Ed. She doesn't like Big Ed. Uh, I don't like him either. <laughs> also, no, no. From way back in the day, who blocked me on Instagram for no reason? Uh, Chantel. Chantel and Pedro. She doesn't like them either. Oh, I Chantel. Like I don't like her either. I don't like him either. We met them at a tell-all, and this Family is when she was Chantel. training to be a nurse. And I have Tourette syndrome, and she was like, "Your disease." I'm like, "I am not contagious, honey." And that's yeah. it. She, since then, she wouldn't let go. She wouldn't let go. Like, <laughs> I don't think that's the reason, though. That's just uh, she misspoke. She misspoke. I know, but she you just you know how people just rub you the wrong way. I just don't like. I, those are two people Big that I don't want, have no interest also, in meeting. He's weird. Like, Big Ed looks like, like Randall Lala's old uh, Lala's ex fiance. <laughs> Very similar. They're both oh, the same. What my, yeah, you're gonna have to Google Randall. Yeah, he's yeah. the he's the most insecure human being on the planet. Like I, that guy. Is... Ed, he's also like not though at the same time. Like he's so insecure, but not at the same time. Like just not a fan. And I think everybody's well aware of it. Yeah. Just like just like Randall, not a fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're over that. 
If you love meal options, then you have to check out Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. Treat yourself to over 30 weekly restaurant quality options like bruschetta shrimp risotto, green goddess chicken, and grilled steakhouse filet mignon ready in just two minutes. We are obsessed with the Factor meals. They are so delicious. They are so easy. You just pop it in the microwave for two minutes, and they are like chef-prepared meals that are so good. I had this like chicken lime or forget exactly which one it was but it was so good the oh, other the day pork chop is delicious oh my gosh filet mignon i mean oh. i eat probably three to four a day they're so good i feel like we need to start ordering more <laughs> <laughs> they have lunch to go meals like grain bowls and salad toppers calorie smart meals with around 550 calories per serving protein plus meals with 30 grams of protein or more per serving and even vegan and veggie options they have tons of add-ons including breakfast items like their apple cinnamon pancakes, bacon and cheddar egg bites, potato, bacon, and egg breakfast skillet. You gotta so try delicious. The, the bacon cheddar egg bites. Yeah, they are so good. Everything I've had is delicious. Head to factormeals.com slash realityhits50 and use code realityhits50 to get 50% off. That's code realityhits50 at factormeals.com slash realityhits50 to get 50% off. They're so delicious. I'm not even kidding. What's something you can tell us that nobody knows about about the show, whether it's your show or just 90 Day in general? <laughs> What's something that it's like a that nobody knows about? From our show, yeah. this is very true. I actually don't remember my hospital stays at all. I was so drugged, and I remember seeing the crew like two weeks later and be like, guys, how are you? I haven't seen They're like, we were in your, your room. And I was like... <laughs> What? And they were like, yeah, you were like fully talking to the CEO of the hospital and like asking him for Doritos and Dr. Pepper. And like, we couldn't even use what you were saying because you wouldn't stop chomping. Like to this day, I thought they were pranking me and they were like, no, we have pictures. Oh my God. So (laughs) were the cameras, is this for your pregnancy? This is Was was the cameras in the room, like filming everything, like everything, your world was wide open? (laughs) I Literally. was filming most of it, and then they would sneak in uh, one because we, we were. That was like one. my cousin or something. Yeah, we would say that this guy is 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 my cousin and he's <laughs> coming to visit, and then he would come in with that Osmo. What do you call that? Oh camera? yeah, yeah, the Osmo, Osmo camera. Yeah, yeah. Just film some stuff. Like, I don't, don't, don't mind this crazy guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's just filming my vagina. No big deal. <laughs> and also, I, what people I know we switched visitors. Remember, it was one at a time. But also what people don't know, I think in general about reality TV is that there are hours that go into filming oh, yeah. mm-hmm. and like you literally see 30 seconds of it. Mm-hmm. I say this like, all the time. You no, know, one scene takes three hours and then there's a 30 second and you're like, oh, okay, cool. Like people also think that it happens in real time. Yeah, right, I yeah. know. And then people judge you over like that little time that they see on the show or like, like you guys have your kids on the show, obviously. Do you mm-hmm. get bothered by people trying to give you like parenting advice oh, or like, how do you deal me. with that? She's so sensitive with this Wait, stuff. This is where you and I can relate because so I used to in get very- of, Hold on, let me see. In the end of the day, her, you know, being so sensitive to that does affect her yeah. parenting. And that's the problem. These people who don't know nothing about nothing should not affect how you actually parent. You can be moody or or upset about whatever they said, but don't let it affect how you like, parent. I love when it's a lot like, easier said than done. Or- I know. But I say the same know. thing to Brittany all the time. And I don't mean to cut you off. I don't mean to say. I say the same thing. They're like, stop reading the comments. Stop diving into those damn social media holes that you go into. You're doing a great job. Do you? Don't worry about what it's, Tim it's, from you Ohio are. says. Who are you? Yeah. You and, guys but, are really incredible parents. You're doing amazing. And it's true. Like I used to read the comments, and now I I really don't. But then there's always like that one, mm-hmm. and you're like, and it's like a mom of four, and you're like, wait, you're telling me. Like when I pierced Ari's ears, oh my God, it was the end of the world. Oh. As if people don't do it all the time, but you guys are really incredible parents. Your son is so happy all the time. And I think that shows in your parenting. Yeah. Thank I mean, it you. does. You guys it are does. too. And so, you, can you tell. know what? There'll be like a thousand great comments and then there'll be that one. And you're like, why am I hung up on this? 
fucking comment mm-hmm. with a guy with three and followers. I call it Alex. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> the thing is, you know, okay, you read it, and you get upset, but don't let it affect how right. you project to others. And like, no, it's it's, you, it's it's easy for you and I to say, but I these know. girls are it's a whole different. Alex has slept on the couch multiple times because I got <laughs> mad at a comment. <laughs> <laughs> I do the same thing. That's same where here. my overthinking comes in too. Like, if I like see a bad comment, it can affect my entire day, and yes. I don't need. I don't want to be like that, but I feel like I try to be such a positive person majority of the time. So when people are just being mean for no reason, I just don't understand it. And it just like can rub me the wrong way sometimes. This kind of goes into my next question. What's the, what do you think the biggest misconception about 90 day fiance is like, what are people, do people come at you and say what, like, yeah, what's the biggest biggest misconception misconception is that they think that we meet and get married within 90 days. Like Mm -hmm. that the the production bring in the person and make them meet. Everybody thinks that we just met for the first time, like the blind married at first sight. That's the thing. Everybody thinks it's married at first sight. Right. Wow, just yeah. do, do you think it's changed because the show has got so popular and now I'm seeing the new couples and I, the couples are extremely attractive. They're attractive couples. Like, so do you think now that it's changed and now people just want to be on TV and they're just being like, okay, whatever Definitely. now? It's Definitely. different now. Nowadays, yeah. And you know Before, what else I noticed? Knew about this show. Nobody knew about the show, so they didn't, they, they, they didn't, you know, try you, to be on it. You want to ride that fifteen minutes mm-hmm. of fame as much as you can, but then you know there are people who are smarter, <laughs> who <laughs> you know ride it for fifteen years. Yeah, you know? yeah. and we're going on ten years. Yeah, yeah. Same, same here. Same here. And I, I always tell people about reality. Reality is just a foundation. You, it's gonna, it's gonna end one of these days. You got to use that yeah. and build other businesses. <laughs> I used, I always use yeah. the Michael Jordan thing. Michael Jordan made money through mm-hmm. basketball. He didn't make that much. Where he made his money is Nike, Gatorade, Jordan. Jordan, like Air Jordan, Jumpman. That's where he made his that. millions. You, you know. So smart. I always use that. And, yeah. You, you gotta be smart. You gotta be grounded. You gotta yeah. be humble. You gotta understand that that you are just another person. You mm-hmm. are not a trained actor. You yes. don't have but like you, Alex you worked a full time job. Yeah, I worked nine to five for seven years. That's another huge misconception. <laughs> Maybe you can break it because everybody tells me, "Get off your ass, you bum, and find a job." And nobody knows that. <laughs> You know what? I'm glad you said that because I hate when people are like, how do you make money or what do you do? Like influencers, not a job. Yeah. Really? I'm like, well, I make money. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think we live pretty well being influencers. I, I don't know about you, but influencers I is actually one of the hardest jobs, especially at our age. Like we're I'm 35. Alex will be 35. I know you guys are around the same age oh. range, but we're competing with girls who are in their 20s, first off, I don't have time to filter or Photoshop. I don't know how to. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's what actually makes us relatable and also gives people the the platform to hate on us more yep. because there's they relate to us at the same time. Yeah. I've actually been lately getting a so many so many people saying that I'm photoshopping my photos and it's driving me insane because don't you love that that we're on Ozempic yeah yeah I know lost journey it's like I worked so hard and I did Jenny Craig and that was a whole nother thing like whenever I did Jenny Craig we both did it yeah we both did it I lost 45 pounds just on Jenny Craig alone like I lost like 30 pounds before I started Jenny Craig and then I lost 40 pounds on Jenny Craig because I gained so much weight when I was pregnant but um, it it would make me so mad when people like try to act like I didn't like really work for it. That's like so annoying to me. The it- same exact thing. I lo- I was the biggest I was with Ari. I looked the tiniest because I was narrow. But after like before I started Jenny Craig, I lost about twenty pounds, and then on Jenny Craig, I lost another twenty pounds. And people are like, "You dropped weight so fast. You're definitely doing Ozempic." Like, no, it's. It Can't works. I just be a normal person. And Jenny Craig worked so good. I'm so sad that they uh, closed down. Yeah. That really made me sad. I know. I know. I was eating that stuff. Also. So was I. <laughs> yeah. I was call- I'm like, I'm like, Brittany said, get, get more protein shakes. Get more of these. I loved it. I was eating it. I didn't eat it the right way. I would douse ketchup. I put, I put ketchup on A1 sauce on it all. I wasn't eating it right, but I liked the food for the most part. Yeah. It was good. It really was. I remember texting Brittany and being like, is it hard at first? And you're like the first week, but you've got this. You yeah. Got this. Like, 
I think we're all very relatable in the sense that Alex and Jax are always right. And Brittany and I are not on Ozempic. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I mean, I worked hard on that thing. I didn't, I lost 10 pounds a month for like three, my first three months. Like I was like so strict on it. She was like the first week she was like, I can't wait till three o'clock that I get my little ice cream. And then I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, 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 meanwhile, I'm eating bags of chips and I'm eating in front of me. I'm eating in front of me. Like it's hard. It is hard. I I, I, like because you feel bad. And then you want to hide what you eat. Oh, I, I had but at the same time for me at least. I felt very, very proud of her when she was doing it because she was strict as well. And yeah, it, she it was too. Like, I hard. had my own stash in the garage. I had a snack cupboard oh, that I would yeah. like cookies and hostess cakes and everything. And I, what? she's like, "Why are you in the garage all the time?" I'm like, "Cause I was eating my snacks." Yeah, I, I found like, them one day and was like, "What the heck? I can't reach it." Yeah, <laughs> just upstairs. She didn't get it. <laughs> I was. She be catching me in the garage, like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, He's like eating a moon pie. I'm like, moon pies and cookies <laughs> and shoving him. Walking back in the house with my mouth full and drinking a Coca Cola. I'm like, <laughs> ordering McDonald's right in front of me. Like, oh, yeah. I was so pissed I off. I would sit out in the driveway and eat McDonald's because I wouldn't go in the house because she would see yeah. it. So she would get in the car and be like, why is there French fries in here? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. I forgot to. <laughs> He's like, I forgot to throw it away before you got in the car. <laughs> I was like, crap. Housewives, Bravo, dating, motherhood. It's all just one big party in my book. So raise a glass and join us for Turtle Time. Okay, if you haven't figured it out, that's Ramona Singer. And I'm Avery Singer, and you probably know us best from The Real Housewives of New York. And Turtle Time is actually our new podcast. Avery, I am so excited to be doing this with you. I'm so excited too, and now we're inviting you to Turtle Time. We'll have some fun and learn something, even if it's just the latest Housewives tea. So follow, rate, and review Turtle Time now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, or wherever you get your podcasts. I want to see something really scary. Check out Be Very Afraid. A horror podcast where I, Gabby Rapp, and my co-host, Brian Liberty, discuss, dissect, and deconstruct the scariest scenes ever filmed. Every Tuesday, we're covering a new film or TV show, talking about familiar favorites, new releases, and deep cuts. From Beetlejuice to Barbarian. Funny games to Fright Night. Motel Hell to Midnight Mass. And everything in between. Be Very Afraid episodes release every Tuesday on Podcast One or wherever you get your podcasts. <laughs> and we'll be right back. How do you deal with the haters and trolls on social media? I mean, because I know with reality it. TV, it we get it worse than like an actor would get because I think that people relate to us more, like we were saying earlier, and like we're in their living rooms. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and I also think too, just people are keyboard warriors. The same person that gives you a negative comment is the same person's going to run up and ask for a picture. Yeah, but it's, how do you guys specifically? deal with like trolls do you block everybody do you like alex alex does i used to block now i just don't care i just alex doesn't really care at all but for me i'm a human being right i'm on reality tv i'm an influencer i chose we as a couple chose to put our lives out there right Right. but the reality is is we still have feelings and emotions and Mm -hmm. there have been plenty of times where i have gone and cried i've closed the door i've gone in the shower and i've cried because People are cruel. Keyboard warriors are so mean. And just when you think you like can go back at them, they come back at you even worse. And it's like, God, fuck you. You're just annoying me now, you know? And it's always the person with like 
10 followers. Or somebody who's got like um, like positive vibes or like something like that oh, yeah. in their bio. And God. then you're like, what the heck are you doing? Yeah, God but first. You're right. They're the first to watch. They're the <laughs> first to watch. And they're the first ones that are going to be like, oh, my God, you're my favorite. Yeah. Probably there listening to like- our podcast right now, too. <laughs> I always Don't say. Haters. <laughs> I always, they always say when they stop talking about you is when you should worry. That's that's what I was always told. When they stop talking about you is when you worry. So Especially yeah, in what we do, I guess. <laughs> so if they're think, talking about think, you, you're yeah. doing something right. Mm-hmm. I think they definitely it's easier for people to hate on us than on like actors because right. they do think that they know us as people. Nobody knows the actors, nobody knows how Johnny Depp is really. He, yeah. He's playing these these roles, but we are we're real. And, like and, he's and not really true. a pirate. <laughs> kinda of, kinda of just to go back into what you were saying before, like we filmed for mm-hmm. hours and hours and hours, like you said, and I used to get all the hate on like Jax, you are crazy, you're a nut job, you go off. Because we would film for hours and hours and hours, right? And we would have, for instance, if, if Brittany and I would get in an argument, they're only gonna get to the point of where I went crazy. Okay, they didn't get to see how the fight started, they didn't see how it ended, they just see me going, Rah! and they're like, Well, that guy's crazy. Well, you didn't see the beginning. We filmed for five hours. You that are day. crazy though. I am crazy. Crazy a lot of the times, there but is no, there is no con- con- content, content, oh, whatever connection to to the scenes all the time. It's not just only about the whole thing. It can be for me, for example, I always film before work on my lunch break or after tired. work. Wow, I mean, that's weekend is after my nine to five forty hours. So then on the weekend I'm filming. What do you do? Do you mind telling us what you do for your job? I'm a distribution center manager for a watch company. Oh, okay. And I- there. Invicta, so, right? Seven years. Seven years. And I, yeah, yeah, Invicta. Invicta yeah. Yeah. I just bought my first designer watch. I don't buy myself anything. I shop at Walmart. So, but I, <laughs> I, I, I literally bought myself something because I thought, you know, I'm going to pass this down to my son. So I bought, I bought my first Bretling and I was just like, yeah. excited. My first nice piece of thing. Like I said, Brittany does her shopping and all this, but I shop at Walmart. So I was mm-hmm. like, you know what? I'm going to spoil myself a little bit. I'm going to get myself something nice. And I thought, you know what? This is something that I can pass down. And watches appreciate in value. So I'm like, this is something that, you know. Although I came down. home with yeah. Christian Dior shoes That's and he went crazy on that. me. That's what, and that's, yeah, she has a she has a shopping a handbag problem, and she came home the other day with two things of Christian Dior shoes, and I was like, "It's an investment." Yes, I, right. And you have a daughter now, so she can have all that stuff down the road. You know. You know what? I'm really doing her a favor. Yeah. So I'm also doing like her future husband a favor, or like my son's girlfriends or wives' favor. Yes, you know? she is. But, so and I cute. always tell her, I'm like the dis- the days of disposable income are over. We are married now. We have kids. We got to put kids through college. Can you not buy a Dior handbag for on a Tuesday? For it was no Dior reason? shoes, okay, not handbag. <laughs> if it was on sale and if it fits you, do it. But you know what? Speaking of kids and finances, we were just having a conversation. Going from two to three kids financially. Also financially. Uh, but aside from like being yes. wild in itself, going from two, we had a 1.3 under three, and now yeah. we have three, three and under. And aside from like all the craziness and totally being outnumbered financially, that is yeah. Forget about college, dog daycare, three. I, I, oh, no, 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 no. I, my buddy just had twins, and he's got what three under two. Yeah, because yeah. he, he and I go, a... I go. I just want to know your diaper bill. What's your diaper bill a month? Yeah. Oh like... my god, forget it, forget diaper, it. I don't know, but daycare, I know. Also, yeah. <laughs> our boys eat, our boys eat a lot. Yeah, yes. that's, not, that's gonna come soon. Right? Yeah, wait till they're teenagers. Oh, Whoa, yeah. Yeah. they're gonna be eating I, everything. I look a lot cheaper. <laughs> my handbag will look a lot cheaper. Exactly. That's You're right. right. That's right. You're right. See? You're right. Let me get all my handbags now while I still can. <laughs> I mean, they, I mean, they're gonna know you by first name at Costco. <laughs> <laughs> Instacart, I have. my I have shipped. Everything I have my ship Instagram. We're going to start driving. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> we start, already starting, uh, you know, daycare soon. So I'll be able to go to the store finally. Oh, oh that'll be nice for I you. Don't, I don't even like going to the store. I love my Amazon Instacart stuff. Like I do that. Mm-hmm. Tw- I do that almost every time I buy groceries, don't yeah, I? Between that yeah. and our, like lately we were Same using here. these, these factor meals yeah. that we love. We use yeah. those in the Instacart. Um, we don't really leave the house anymore and I'm, we're homebodies. We don't like to leave the house. You know, we, we, you know, we have our dream house. We're very fortunate. We have our dream home and we don't like to leave. We have our pool. We have our just, we're becoming little, too yeah, much of hermits. We are. I think we after, become hermits after COVID. Yeah. I think after COVID, like we just didn't really go out as much. And then we just stayed at, I, at home. <laughs> like you, Lauren, though. And then you I, had a son. Yeah. And then you become parents. And when you become a parent, I, maybe I'm speaking just for me. 
But when I became a parent, I realized how many people like I don't like, and like I, my <laughs> circle has just gotten so small. Yes, and that's my choice. Like yeah. I would rather spend my time with people. That's just what happens when you get older, honey. When I get older, <laughs> yeah, I find the same thing. Like I don't have any time for my single friend. I don't really have any single friends anymore. Like you either have kids or you're married or you're not. I don't have. I really don't have any. I have nothing in common with them. I kind of lost yeah, all them, and I'm the same right. as you when it comes to anxiety. Like I am the most before COVID. I was the most outgoing person. I could go to the bar by myself. I don't, I didn't, I can travel by myself. Now after COVID, mm-hmm. I've got so much anxiety. I don't want to leave the house. I'm terrible socially. I have to like get back into it and find my old mm-hmm. self because I, COVID really messed with me and I didn't really realize it until after COVID what it did to me. Like you were going out mm-hmm. and I'm like, I don't want to be out in public. I don't even know how to be social. And that wasn't me. Yeah. And it kind of hurt me. I'm like, God, this is who I am. This is why people like me because I'm social. Oh. A lot of it also depends on where you were during COVID. Because yeah. over here, honestly, it, it was not something. the same. <laughs> right. LA or, 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 or other places where there was such a huge... Everybody came here without masks and this and that. And everybody's People out there. It's affected so bad. Over here, nobody... Oh, was LA out. was insane. Like, we could not do anything. You had to show your Nothing vaccine either. cards anywhere you went. But, like, it was Never like... Here. Yeah. Never. Not in Kentucky we were, either, my, where I'm from. My company was closed for a week and a half. That's it. When the, wow. when the first wave happened, a week and a half after that. That's and it. we had two out of three COVID babies. Wow. So we were like adjusting to that as well. The third one was the COVID two. Which Ari, was, what do you mean? Was COVID still? <laughs> it was born on our anniversary. Oh, wow. oh that's sweet. She was made during COVID, born on our anniversary. That's a sweet. That's so sweet that she was born on your anniversary. Oh, that's special. I was so upset. Oh, you were? <laughs> well, it takes away from my anniversary a little bit. It's, like, oh, it's like having your birthday on Christmas. Came at 11.40 p.m. I was like, can you just wait 20 minutes? You're, you're like, like, this no, is my day to enough. celebrate. <laughs> I think it's special. Wedding anniversary. Yeah, we're going to swap our anniversary now to the other one when we did the party in Israel. We, so then we... <laughs> we, we kind of did the same thing. We haven't, we, our, our anniversary was what, a couple weeks ago? We haven't celebrated that. We haven't gone on our honeymoon yet. We're still trying to take our honeymoon. We've been well, married for four be, years. It's because we were filming Vanderpump Rules during our, like, our wedding was on Vanderpump Rules. So yeah. it wasn't mm-hmm. like we could go on a honeymoon because we still had the half of the season to film. Yeah. So and you also don't want them to follow you. No, on no, no, no. And like I said, and now, like I said, it's, it's so hard to talk to because you have three kids and we have one, but now we have a child. <laughs> it's like we planned our anniversary and then it was like stuff comes up and it's just like, do we not just order in? You know, you know how many times? So we did have it. Not to, yeah. I'm jumping all over the place. We did have a date night. <laughs> And I remember we were going out. We were so excited for our date night, right? We got all dressed up. We're ready. We're like, let's go to Hollywood. Let's get in. No, we were so excited. We got the babysitter all lined up. We're stoked. We're getting lined up. She's gonna be. I'm gonna get sexy. We're gonna. We're gonna be Hollywood. We get out. We lasted about. Baby number two. We we lasted about an hour. We're like, do you want to go home? I'm like, yeah. Let's just go home and order either, food. Like, either we don't last long, or we're just like, I don't feel like going anymore. Yeah. After you get all ready, she's like, do you want to go anymore? Let's just order food and sit on the couch. I'm like, yes. I love that. We sound but so I, fun. I know. We're. we're <laughs> I started, I, the same way, I started going back now. I don't know. I kind of want to go out in the park. <laughs> I feel like I feel like like that for a while. And now in the last, like, I don't know, couple of months, I feel like since, I don't know, since Ari is, is bigger and then everything is. And, and no, we found a good sitter. Yeah. No, also, so you are going back to you also. Hi, I can drink 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 drink. Drink. Yeah. So all of this stuff for four years. Imagine four years. She was either. Yeah. Pregnant or not. Yeah. 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 I guess this gets it kind of into my next question about your. your... Oh, it's okay. Oh, Oh, poor baby. I guess this kind of gets into my next question about help. I mean, we just finally, not finally, recently found ourselves a sitter to slash nanny slash house cleaner well, and are. you don't it's hard and you don't want to share them anybody and you don't want them to tell like so we have events or parties at our house and we kind of keep our nanny hidden because we don't want our friends to steal her <laughs> like they do that I they know. do there's nanny stealers out there <laughs> there's nanny stealers I literally, I literally book my sitter like a month in advance so alex and i are like all right we've got to go on this date night she's booked like that's it we got to go right yeah. and i guess that gets into the next thing we were going to bring up how important to you guys is date nights How important is it? Like one-on-one. Date date night on a scale of one to 10 is definitely a 10. We go at least once a month out. That's good. We also travel one to two times a year, just the two of us. We're very lucky. My parents are close, so they will watch all three of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, Very lucky. But we do go, but we go for like a weekend, but we go out to dinner at least once a month because it's so important to kind of just let loose, let your hair down a little bit. 
And I would prefer the sitter the morning after, honestly. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, right, you right. Know, it's important. Yes, because, like, the baby don't care if you're hungover. No. You still got to be a parent. <laughs> yeah, I did that one time. One time I did that. I got really hammered. And I came home the next day and like, well, the baby's up in like, oh shit. And he doesn't, he doesn't care if you're drunk or not. You gotta wake up. <laughs> 6 a.m. 6 a.m. I think the next time we do this podcast, it needs to be in person. Oh Absolutely. my gosh. At a Lauren, bar. we tried to meet up with each other I, like, three, like three, times, three times. And one time I actually had COVID. So I couldn't meet yeah, up. I, rem- I, I can't remember what happened. happened. Yeah. And I like actually got COVID that time and I was like, crap. Yeah, but, we definitely need to we definitely need to get together. I think we have a lot in common and I think we would definitely have some fun together for sure. For oh, sure. Heck Absolutely. Yeah. I would I definitely agree. So I want to know what would you tell our listeners? Like what is your best parenting advice? Uh whatever works for you, that's all that that's the right way. There's no right or wrong. Love. You can pierce your daughter's ears at two months. Alex will say <laughs> just, it's really important to just keep your kid like breathing for the first year, right? Make sure the kid survives the first year, right? Yeah. But it's okay to pierce your daughter's ears at two months. It's okay to introduce them to foods when you think they're ready. Like whatever works for you and your family, that's it. It is what it is. Like it, I love I've that. Had people, I've had people literally tell me I I used to walk at the mall because like AC, you know, air conditioning and like sales. <laughs> so I would go with Ari. And somebody once told me because she was having such a, a tantrum, she just had a meltdown. She was a baby, yeah. like six months old. Somebody said, if you can't control your child, then you shouldn't bring them out. Said that to your face, like to you? Mm-hmm. Like I was walking. There's a lot of perfect people crying. in the world, isn't there? I was walking like in circles, just trying to like calm her down. Yeah. You know, uh, it's if, a pretty stuck up wall she goes to. Yeah. <laughs> I was doing like what worked for me. I was trying to hold her, feed her, whatever. And she's a baby, right? We've all been babies. And I was flabbergasted when that happened. But that's my advice is don't read the comments. Mm-hmm. Right? Yep. <laughs> my own advice. Don't read the comments and just it's my advice. Alex Alex is always right. That's my advice. Except after a couple <laughs> cocktails. Sometimes that social media gets real, you know, after especially if she comes home a little bit tipsy, she Ooh, dives right into the comments. It. And I don't even mean to, it just like happens. I don't know why. <laughs> Alex, so what about you? Pool. Yeah, it's it's like hard not to do it. Alex, what about you? What would you say would be your best parenting advice? I mean, I don't know, just your instincts. Yeah. If your instinct says, you know, do it, do it. If not, not. And that's it. That's good advice. So did you, are you guys planning on, you're in Florida, right? Are you in the Miami area? Yeah. 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 Okay. So do you guys plan on staying there? I know one time we talked, you guys were thinking about uh, moving or whatever, but uh, yeah. are you guys thinking about that still? Or are you staying in Florida? I'm jealous. Of you. First of all, I just want to say Florida is my favorite place in the entire world. I he love loves Florida. Florida so much. She's like, oh. I love it. I love water parks. I love chain restaurants. I love Disney. That's where I want to be. <laughs> he wants to be in Orlando. I just want to like, be in Orlando. Even there. I just want to be at the fried, fried food chain restaurants and water parks. That's all I want. <laughs> I will say this. Florida is a great place to raise a family. Mm-hmm. Um, do I see us staying here forever? No. But for now, now, yeah. What's what's where where do you guys plan on going? Where what's the what's the ideal place that you guys want to go? I think I think I just have kind of uh, spoke this already. I feel like I already, you know, I I I know season. I know Florida. Like I moved here from 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 Israel and I learned what is Florida, which is not exactly the same Mm -hmm. as the rest of the states. Right. And I feel like over here we already we conquered. Yeah, thing. I don't know. I want another step. I want another. I want to learn something new. And new wow. <laughs> yeah. I, I, and would you ever go back to where you're from? Israel. Israel. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Would you? Would you do that? Yeah. Lauren. We would yeah. love to yeah. when they're a little older, though, so they can like understand it more. Yeah. Right. But they have to be walking and talking and be able to communicate. Yeah, otherwise, it's like wasted time. Because if I take this baby there right now, she's not going to remember anything. I'm not yeah. going to stay there forever. Yeah, yeah, but if that's definitely something that is not off the table with us, and we've been talking a lot about. But first, we just need to get out of this condo. We've outgrown it. Yeah. We oh, I'm sure. House. Yeah, I, I, buying our house was like the best thing ever was, for us. Yeah, it was just it was a dream, especially just like you said, you outgrow it, right? And you know, once you get your own house, it's just nice. It's like your own your own thing. So I, I understand what that's like. How's how's uh, house shopping? Are you are you guys in the process of that? Damn expensive. It's, it's right. Crazy. The market is crazy. It's flooded. I no. Would- 
our prices are, are as, as high as your prices. I know. Right now. It never used it's, to be like that, but now everybody had no. the same idea. Let's all, w- once the uh, COVID happened, everybody bounced to Florida. Yeah. And now exactly. they just now the housing markets went crazy. Now it's yeah. might as well just stay and here. The interest rates are too high, also. So all together, the prices and the interest. This too is pretty much like have come to adulting. You guys talking about interest rates and housing markets. I know. <laughs> I know. It's like I would. I, I would have never thought. I first of all, I never thought I was going to get married. I not. I never thought I was going to have dogs. I never thought I was going to have kids. And now I have all of what that. And it's just crazy I mean, to me to go. think like yeah. these are the things I think about. You know, Alex. I know on the show you said you wanted four kids. Are you guys still feeling that or? Are you done? From day to day, it changes. We kind of want them, but we can't have them right now. First of all, because of her physical thing. And second of all, we can't afford them. And third of all, she's going to do like... I'm getting them for makeover. You're doing a mommy makeover? Good Good for you. Yeah. Bring like an all-natural mommy makeover with an amazing doctor down here. It's... um, I'm doing a tummy tuck because my like abdomen muscles separated and it's a lipo fat transfer into my my boobies, so it's like it's like a Whole Foods of mommy makeover. Oh organic. my gosh! Yeah, good Alex. for you. Woo. Good for you, because like I we want to have another baby. We're actually going to start trying in like a month. So yes. knock on wood. Jax is looking at me like. But we are. We are. It, it, it came really fast. I go, I don't want my kids more than two years apart. And now my kid's two now. And I'm like, shit, it came it's fast. Wild. And yeah. I'm like, are we ready yet? I'm like, yeah. But yeah, we are ready. I'm ready. I've got You're baby ready. fever. I just was like holding my friend's twins yesterday. And I was just like, oh my gosh, they were just so cute. And I just like have baby fever so bad. So many of my friends are pregnant right now too. And like, I just love having friends be pregnant I, at the I, same I, time, I, you know? I, like that too just because we did it so back to back to back this chapter is like gonna be over and then what yeah like this yeah. is all i know so i'm like so ready for another one but i'd rather get the mommy make i'm excited for, for you i'm, happy I'm so for you. happy for you and i definitely want to do you. that after i, I have my kids to get the boys okay thank you so much alex thank you so much yeah we're gonna go fishing we gotta go fishing man you and i gotta go fishing one of these days please come to la and like next time you're coming let us know we're definitely getting together for sure for sure next time all right all right man be safe take care still here so me and ari are here we're almost done we're wrapping up yeah i just want to ask who wears the pants in the family as alex is leaving Alex wears the shorts, I wear the pants. There you go. That's a really good saying. I like that. He wears the shorts, I wear the pants. Yes. I like that. I also say that he wears the pants, but I'm the zipper or button because you can't close those pants without a zipper or button or a zip tie or whatever, a waistband. Yes. I, like that. A waistband. I love it. I like that. All right, we'll end with this last question. If you had to do it all over again, what would you change? Honestly, I don't think I would change anything. Uh, No. Alex and I talked about this. If we could go back, he would move to New York and live there for a little bit before coming down here. And and we would travel a little bit more. Before kids. But other than that, before kids. Yeah. But we had had a discussion about it. And then unbeknownst to us, I was pregnant with Shai. So um, if I think I speak for both of us when I say if we could redo it, we would live in New York. For at least a year, yeah, um, and travel more. Other than that, you know, very blessed are, life you guys got. Yeah, we're, we're, you know what? We are very lucky. Um, I'm very thankful. I'm done having kids. The doctor was like, "If you tell me you're pregnant, go to a different doctor. I'm not going to deal with you." <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "No more for you." So I'm not going to push my luck, and I'm excited for this new chapter. I'm. Anxious to see all the hate that I'm going to get, though, or the mommy shaming for a mommy makeover. Hey, hey so listen, we'll you, you got to do we'll you. We'll regroup on that talk. Yes, yeah. please let me know how you're feeling afterwards because I'm, I've am i got stretch marks and loose skin from Cruz. So, like, whenever I'm done having kids, I'm all for it. Like, do whatever makes you feel comfortable. And why does it matter what other people, like, why do other people think that they can, like, comment about that? It's like your own body. Because like, we're on social media. Yeah. Not only that, like, how many people have friends that did mommy makeovers <laughs> and it's okay? Okay, but like, oh, God forbid a reality star does it. Like I've documented my lifestyle chain through Jenny Craig working Same. out. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Some things I just can't enhance by themselves. So Same, girl. I decided to do it the right way and just kind of t- I'm, I'm getting sucked and tucked. Well, you're going to have to let me know how that goes. I'm um, I'm interested in this Whole Foods mommy makeover. It, 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 <laughs> like 
your body is, it's, I'm repurposing my body. I had tried an IUD. My body rejected it. I got very sick. So I was like, maybe I'm not supposed to get um, implants. So I found an amazing doctor down here. He doesn't do implants. He only takes them out. And he does um, like fat sculpting where he takes your body's fat and like sculpts your body. And wow. I'm very excited and, you know, I'm down to my goal weight. So that's it. Good for you, girl. Your future guy. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? Like I, I said, it's, need another one. I, lo- I love the fact that you're very open about it. You're saying, we're very open about it too. I don't see there's any reason to not talk about it. I, think I got my boobs done on. Yeah. We talk Vera about Pumbles. it. <laughs> yeah. You almost want to silence <laughs> the haters before they get there. Silence them right ahead. And really, yeah, I get work done. So what? Yeah. So what? I think you know? that's why you got so much hate. Gone Vanderpump Rules. Like, I've watched for years, okay? I admit I watched for years, and I feel like that's why you got a lot of hate because you say what people are thinking, and you're not scared to say it. You Mm -hmm. guys are not scared to fight on TV. You're not scared to show people this is the reality. Couples fight. People get drunk. We make stupid decisions Mm -hmm. in Mexico or not, but it is what it is, you know? And the reality is, is everybody has problems and issues but we just choose to share it and i would do it all over again if given the opportunity i love it yes yeah, and I love showing people that's a misconception is people think i'm not a real person and mm-hmm. an influencer isn't a job and i literally tell them come do my job for 48 hours and you tell me how easy it is yeah right. yeah i agree with you 100 percent. well thank you yeah so- i know you- much. You got we your know. hands full. Yeah. And by the way, your kids are adorable. They, I feel like they look, look like they could be triplets. Like they all look so much alike. Really? Yeah, they I look a lot Ash, alike. So I think Ari and Shy are twins. And, but Ari has Asher's personality. Oh, well, they're so, like, adorable. Alex has no idea how much trouble he's in. <laughs> um, well, they are so you. cute. Beautiful kids. I can't wait to meet you guys in person. We absolutely adore your family and we just love Maybe you guys. Maybe we'll do a Virgin Voyage cruise together. That, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. That's what we should do. Our manager yeah. was just talking about that. He's I like, told, whenever you're I ready, Lauren, that's what we should yeah. do. We should do it as a couple, the Virgin Voyage That cruise. would be really I, fun. That's I a great idea. I planning another one next year. Year in Europe. Let us know Nine when. And a piece of night. Ooh, let us oh, know that when. Awesome. Yeah, let us know. We're in. All right. Well, thanks everybody for listening to When Reality Hits. Do you want to tell people where they can find you and Alex? You can find us, catch up on our episodes on streaming apps, and then follow me on Instagram at Lauren Bravarnik. And Alex is at Alex underscore Bravarnik. And then our kids also at the Brove Bunch. Cute. Oh, I cool. love it. Okay, thank you guys so much for being on today. And thanks for listening. We'll see you guys next week on Win Reality Kids. Talk to you later. Stream the biggest blockbusters this summer with popcorn summer movies on Pluto TV. Indulge in hilarious rom coms like The Backup Plan or delve into award winning dramas like Forrest Gump and Minari with thousands of other free movies. Pluto TV has something for everyone. Available on live TV and on demand. Download Pluto TV on all your favorite devices and start streaming now.